Hi! <laughs> so in the midst of doing all these hockey videos, um, and while Yvonne's out for the evening at her um, mother's group, which hopefully isn't involving talking about me at all, I'm not in a negative way anymore, um, I figured I'd take a look at television where we're at right now. Um, I did a video some time ago on how the Big Bang Theory I didn't feel was really funny anymore, and it is apparently ending at the end of this season. And the rumors are out there that uh, Kaylee Cuoco wants more money. She's Penny. Uh, she's the unenter unentertaining, uninteresting Penny of the last few seasons. She's not been entertaining for a while. Um, at some point, they decided to stop making her ditzy and wearing sexy outfits, and they decided to make her a smartass wearing boys' clothes and having a bob haircut. Now, she started growing the hair back. Uh, she started wearing revealing outfits again, but she's still Kaylee Cuoco. She's not Penny anymore. It's like when you watch old episodes of Star Trek Next Generation and De Deanna Troy slowly evolves to become Marina Sirtis. She's not a character anymore. She's just Marina Sirtis in a suit. And, you know, I was reading through one of the gossip rag sites there a few, bit, a few minutes ago. And apparently she's jealous of Bernadette getting more screen time than Penny. This could be because Bernadette is still Bernadette. She's not Melissa Roach. She's still Bernadette. Um... And, and in general, uh, Jim Parsons apparently wants to do something else. Uh, Kaylee Cuoco, apparently, part of the reason she's asking for a lot more money is she wants to do something else. She's bored. She's tired. And you can tell watching the show that they're bored. And it's already been said that if if she leaves, that Johnny Galecki, who plays Leonard, will leave as well. So there's no show left. Uh, because Raj has already, you know, the actor who plays Raj has already talked openly about wanting to leave. So what do you have? You have... Uh, nothing. <laughs> if you've got Amy Farrah Fowler left over and everybody else is gone and she's just looking at the camera and saying, it's my show. So what other shows are on their way out? I figured, you know what, I'd take a, close, take a little bit of a look. Um, enough TV has gone by that um, TV by the Numbers, which is a fun site to go through, has a pretty good record of figuring out which shows are going to be gone and which ones are going to stick around. Um... First network I'll look at is the CW. CW is interesting because they own all the shows. So when you watch a show on CW, whether it's Supernatural, Arrow, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, all of these shows are owned by CW. So they don't have to pay another company to produce them. The costs are down compared to what the other networks pay. So getting canceled on the on the station is almost impossible. That being said, uh, Vampire Diaries is in its final season, so they're basically canceled. Um, Let's take a look at NBC. I'm just going to go through the list here. Because NBC's been down, but it looks like NBC right now, everything's in pretty good shape. Um, on their index, the blind, the Blacklist, blind spot, and Timeless are the three that are the lowest. Timeless, I'm kind of surprised that it's got an even chance of being renewed. Because Timeless, I tried watching it, and based on the fact that it's time travel... And I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and they lost me. I watched half of an episode, and I'm like, no, this is stupid. And I turned it off. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Uh, Superstore looks like it's getting renewed. If you haven't watched Superstore, I highly recommend it. It's honestly a very good show. Um, this Is Us is the highest rated on NBC. And I tried watching it, but I got a toothache because it's so schmaltzy and sweet. And I don't really go for that. Uh, let's see. CBS. Uh, CBS is also a network with pretty damn good ratings across the board. Uh, the lowest rated... Uh, Dead Show Walking Pure Genius. I haven't watched Pure Genius. Uh, likely to get cancelled are Elementary, which is the Sherlock Holmes American version. and I tried watching that and I thought it was stupid. Uh, Code Black, which I haven't watched. The Odd Couple, which uh, is bad. Matthew Perry... I liked him as Chandler and Friends, but my God, he is death to television shows. Uh, the Odd Couple, I did not find it funny at all. I tried like three or four episodes, and I didn't find it funny. Uh, the best shows on that channel, Criminal Minds is fantastic. I can't watch a lot of episodes back-to-back -back or it starts messing with my brain. Uh, seriously, I started having nightmares about like really graphic murder scenes, so I can't watch that show very much. 
Hawaii Five-0, I really enjoyed. I lost track of it, and I haven't got back into it since then, but I really enjoyed Hawaii Five-0. My grandfather would be so proud of me. Um, there's the Big Bang Theory with likely to get renewed. But remember, because of contract demands of, of actors and the fact the ratings are lower than where they were, CBS is looking and saying, this just doesn't make sense for us to bring it back. And somehow Two Broke Girls still gets good ratings, which means there's no God. Uh, and Kevin Can Wait, which is the new Kevin James show, uh, that looks terrible, and it's uh, getting really good ratings. So, uh, you know, go to hell, people who are watching that. Um, no, that's still NBC. Fox. Oh, no, Family Guy is now on The Simpsons plan. Oh, no. Yeah, Family Guy is still with Bob's Burgers and Simpsons are already renewed for next year because Bob's Burgers is a fantastic show. Likely to be cancelled, Scream Queens. I tried watching that. I thought it was awful. The Exorcist, why would I want to watch a series on The Exorcist? Rosewood, never watched it. Uh, Last Man on Earth, the ratings are... Nye. I think they'll keep it because I think production values are, are, or production costs are lower for that. Son of Zorn, I can't get over how stupid it looks. And Lucifer is just awful. And I know there's people who like Lucifer, and I'm sorry, but I just found it too stupid to live. I, I just couldn't get past how stupid it was. Just awful. Not New Girl stupid. New Girl got stupid because they just betrayed who the characters were quite a bit. Uh, there's NBC, or ABC. Uh, Notorious is Dead Show Walking. Convictions of Dead Show Walking. I never got to see it. Uh, that's got, um, Hallie Atwell in it. Or, uh, it really doesn't matter. Haley Atwell. Um, she was Agent Carter. Uh, she was in Captain America. She is one of the most beautiful women on the planet. And anything she's in gets cancelled, apparently. And it's a shame, because she's actually a captivating actress, but she can't get a show that's popular. I think she needs to get herself into the Marvel Universe again as Agent Carter somehow. It's it's comics. She can just get frozen in a pack of ice and get thawed out by Hulk or something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, Secrets and Lies is likely to be cancelled. I haven't watched that one either. Uh, Dr. Ken's got uh, an even chance. Quantico's got an even chance. I wanted to get into Quantico. Eh. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the ratings have dropped for that. And I, I Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. lost me last year. I, I just, I haven't watched it this year, to be honest. Once upon a time, the ratings have dropped on that one, too. But, I mean, how many years has that has that been on? And Once upon a time has defied the odds in that it is a... It is a a fantasy show that has lasted on a major network. So, full props to that. And... Yeah, I think that's it. I think I got every... I think I got every major network. There we go. Um, but yeah, and, and uh, admittedly, this is the season that I haven't watched as much TV as I'd like to. But that's where we're at. So... Which of your shows do you want to see make it? Which shows that are making it do you think should be off the air? And which shows should I be watching? That's a question I can ask people who are watching this right now. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing through. If you see a lot of hockey in the background, that's because uh, I have a hockey channel that I do regularly. But this is my other channel. And this is a channel I will continue to upload videos to. So if you're a subscriber, thank you. And uh, I will continue to upload more content, especially now that i got cable and that sucker in the background. I'll be watching a lot of TV. And PBR. i got to start using the PBR a little more. Because I can record these shows and watch them back later and then talk to people about it. And please watch iZombie when it comes back for Season 3. I, I don't think it's come back for Season 3 yet. Because I don't see it listed on CW. So, fingers crossed, I get to see iZombie when it comes back. Because, my God, what a great show. What a fantastic show. Amazing show. Can't talk enough good things about it. But, uh, and I also have the Doctor Who Christmas special coming up soon. So that I will be able to do a full review on. And I will have tremendous fun with that. So stay tuned.